started right now. Gotham. <laughs> Detective Comics. That's tight. I like that. Looks good. What's that smell? Whoa. Damn. But that would have blew like the whole house up, though. Not just the kitchen. The gas line? Come on. Nigma, better known as the Vidla. So, Riddler went after the kid. It's interesting. It's Riddler. I wasn't expecting that though. All right. Is that my man from the. I thought he died. You remember Wendell, don't you? Uh, I don't know why you two are here and I don't care. We're not leaving here without the It's okay. We'll come back. All right. Well, you know some BS just went down. Bullet, yeah, you knew it. He been gone. What? Nice. This is cool. Ah! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Watch out, Bruce. Watch out, Bruce. Get him, Selena. <laughs> You're not the only one that got smart. Damn. Ugh. Spring of mind is impressive. Take him to the docks, shoot him, and throw him in the river. Where is he? You don't understand? 
Uh-uh. Man, damn. Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Jim's been hit. Ooh. Ah, he's bleeding. Oh. Oh, man. Man, Jim is taking some shots. Oh man, damn. Four shots. Oh, Doctor Lee, yeah. Oh, Oh my God, she's alive still. Stop, man, stop. No one dies on Gotham, man. <laughs> she got shot in the head. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, how, how did she get control so easily? Oh no, you ain't going. No, 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 no. Yeah, you gone, but you you ain't leaving. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I take the spike in and do it, baby. Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. His, he ain't gonna have no hand. He ain't gonna have no hand. Oh, boy. What is that? What is that? Oh, oh. <laughs> Raza, the Raz, it's the Raz. <laughs> oh man! Oh whoa! So and he is he taking over? Oh, that was really weird, guys. That was really weird, but very very cool, guys. Uh, absolutely love that episode. Very very good episode. Um, Gotham is one of my favorite uh, shows on television right now. Um, obviously, it, it, those of you who are following the channel and you guys uh, watch my reactions to Gotham uh, on a weekly basis, you obviously enjoy this show as well. Um, so I don't need to tell you how good this show is, uh, but I am going to tell you how good it is. And this show is absolutely great. Um, even, and I've said this many times in many of my videos, I mean, you, you're not getting... A, a full Batman, uh, you're not getting a, a full Joker or any of the main characters. They're not fully flushed out in their uh, full characters yet. Uh, yet and still, uh, the building of the origin of each one of these characters 
uh, is just really, really good the way that they're done in this show. And uh, the other thing that I like is, and as I've been mentioning throughout uh, this episode, especially when, in regards to the relationship between Jim Gordon and Bullock, you can see references from, and again, I'm hoping I'm getting the, uh, the, the correct um, movie here, uh, but I believe it's Batman Begins where uh, you see that you get a little taste of uh, Gordon and Bullock's relationship Bullock is a crooked cop, and Gordon is kind of sticking up for him, but he knows that, that Bullock is, is uh, just completely low down and dirty. And um, now you, with, through, through this show, you get a little bit more added to that uh, as you see that uh, Gordon has had to get his hands uh, dirty reluctantly. Uh, Bullock already understood uh, the nature of the city and how uh, he you have you have to get your hands dirty, um, and uh, so I, I like how uh, how everything is is transpiring in this show and how it relates. Uh, in, in at least in my view to the movies, at least that's what I'm seeing out of it. I don't know if you guys are seeing something differently or if I'm uh, incorrect about that or if I'm even getting the uh, incorrect movie here uh, on here. Uh, please let me know in the comments. I don't want to keep continuing to reference the wrong movie. Um, but I do remember that relationship between uh, Bullock and uh, Jim Gordon uh, depicted in, uh, in in one of the Batman films. Uh, um, uh, I, again, I want to say it's Batman Begins, but I'm not sure. So uh, lots to unpack here with this particular episode, guys. I mean, uh, we, obviously we get the team up with the Riddler and Penguin, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, I'm hoping they don't go into the love relationship thing that was... Uh, touched upon uh, earlier in the series. Um, I wasn't really enjoying that. Uh, I am enjoying the the friendship, the, the, the crimey, homey uh, type of deal between the two. Uh, I prefer that dynamic as opposed to the love interest they experimented with uh, a few seasons ago. Um, so it's cool to see those two uh, back together. Uh, I also like the fact that Lee uh, is now kind of one of their allies. Uh, and she's also taken back the narrows, as we saw. And I knew that was a situation that was going to be rectified very, very quickly. Uh, I didn't see uh, Samson, I believe his name is, uh, uh, keeping the narrows for all that long, uh, especially the, the way that he came back uh, killing folks uh, to make them in, as an example. Uh, of course, the people of the narrows are going to prefer Lee's style over his style. So uh, it's, an, it's a no-brainer that she took over the narrows, uh, back, took back the narrows uh, so easily. So uh, that was very cool. Um, I, I like uh, how they're also bringing uh, uh, some of the uh, sideline characters back and forth in. Uh, I forget the guy's name, the guy with the patch eye, the, um, uh, the, uh, the other shooter. Uh, I, I forget his name, guys, and I'm sorry about that. But um, I like it's good to see him back. I, for some reason, I, I'm, I'm thinking that he was killed off. But, um, but again, no one dies in Gotham. Uh, Sophia survives. Uh, her gunshot wound to the head um, and, and she was also shot in the abdomen I think uh, as well so I, I mean it's uh, I mean it's 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 kind of cool but it's crazy at the same time that just no one dies on on this uh, particular show so uh, of course again Sophia survives her uh, gunshot wound to the head uh, to the brain she's uh, in a coma and we'll see how long that lasts uh, or if she's uh, brought back uh, to life in some kind of capacity uh, of course, someone's going to need her as an ally because she still has a lot of money and power. Um, so, uh, and and a lot of uh, people who uh, would bow under her uh, if she was still alive. So we'll see how that uh, story arc turns out there with Sophia being in a coma. So, and, and then of course the the kid is out there. So we know now know that uh, the penguin doesn't have to uh, suffer those charges. Uh, under uh, underneath the uh, murder of that child because uh, the child is is uh, alive, so they've take care of they they've taken care of that particular story arc uh, as well. So that's also cool. And it's it's unfortunate that we didn't get uh, any uh, anything with Jerome, um, but I see from the uh, previews uh, that we are going to get some more of Jerome. Uh, but it's uh, interesting that he wasn't connected in, with uh, any of the uh, team ups that we're seeing uh, going on here. Uh, in Gotham, but uh, I'm sure his time is coming and it's probably going to be its own standalone uh, uh, story arc uh, and it's probably going to require a full episode of just that particular story arc as opposed to touching on uh, everyone in this particular episode as they did here. And then of course the uh, the big reveal uh, which I, I was waiting for, I've been waiting for this story arc to come back around and of course uh, we are talking about Ra's al Ghul uh, 
uh, and Barbara, and Barbara is now feeling the effects of whatever it is that Ra's al Ghul uh, gave to her uh, a few, quite a few episodes ago. I believe at the uh, the, the initial uh, season break uh, is when he uh, gave her that whatever it is that he gave her that is now affecting her, and she's seeing him and and uh, having all of these weird things going on with her. So uh, we'll have to see uh, where that story arc. Uh, is going in this particular series. So uh, again, guys, really, really enjoyed this episode. Uh, I, 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 again, I love the way that they touched upon every single, uh, everyone's uh, story arc here, uh, and still kept a very good flow with the episode. Um, and there was lots of action. We had a, a few uh, gun battles there that were really, really good with Jim and Sophia. Uh, we also had the gun battle with Zaz. Uh, and again, the uh, the other character that I keep forgetting, the black gentleman with the uh, uh, I, all of the story arcs were really, really interesting. So uh, again, uh, Gotham and their writers and producers are doing a really, really good job with this show. Uh, and again, and, and we're still not getting all of the uh, characters fully flushed out in their uh, normal form that we know them as. Um, so a great job uh, in doing that as well. So. Um, also, the other thing that I enjoyed uh, with this episode uh, is the, the, the um, I guess, the rekindling of uh, the relationship with uh, Selena and Bruce Wayne. Uh, they've kind of made up a little bit and uh, are kind of working together uh, as well a little bit. So that was really cool to see. And uh, we got to see a little uh, fight scene with them as well together. Uh, Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, and Selina, a.k.a. Catwoman, working together for the first time. Not for the first time. We've seen them uh, fight before uh, with each other, but that was a pretty good uh, fight scene right there between the two, uh, with Bruce Wayne uh, kind of uh, upping his skill a little bit because now he's been he's been out uh, as a vigilante, uh, I think, two to three times now uh, already. So uh, which e with each time that he's going out, uh, he's sharpening his skill. And that's another uh, another thing that I'm enjoying about this series. Uh, it's not a situation where uh, Bruce Wayne is going out every single night uh, as this vigilante uh, fighting crime. Uh, at, at this particular point, it's uh, he's doing it when it's necessary, uh, when a situation arises where he's going to need to defend himself or, or uh, help a friend out, as he did here with Selena. Uh, but eventually we're going to get to the point where he's going out and he's fighting crime. Uh, every single night. Uh, so uh, again, uh, when you have a series versus a movie, uh, you can kind of show those little subtleties of a, a character's origin and uh, the, the progression of that character uh, from a week to week basis. And uh, I'm really enjoying that uh, here with this particular show. So uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and score this episode. My score for this episode is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, again, guys, I really enjoyed this episode, enjoyed all of the story arc. We're starting to get a resolution with Ra's al Ghul and whatever it is that he gave to Barbara. So, you know, we have that coming up, uh, which is really, really cool. We have Butch, uh, a.k.a. Grundy, who has uh, now remembered who he was uh, and, and, and going to try to figure out how he can fix his condition. Um, so uh, he's out there. Uh, we have Sophia in a coma. Don't know what's going to happen to her. Lots of action. Uh, great story arcs here, guys. Uh, really enjoyed everything with this particular episode, guys. But what's most important is I want to know what your thoughts are. Uh, so please put those comments down below. Did you enjoy this episode? Are you enjoying this uh, particular series? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. I really want to hear from you, and I will respond to those comments, guys, as I usually do. And then also, guys, uh, just as a preview for my toy collecting uh, subscribers, guys, uh, just so you know, I was able to uh, go out to WonderCon uh, this past Saturday and find uh, quite a few of the next wave of the Black Series 6-inch figures, as you can see uh, right here behind me. Uh, we have our range trooper from the solo movie as the snow trooper is pointing out there for you guys uh, we have tarkin there uh underneath him uh, we also have young solo right there uh, we have kiera in the solo movie uh, we also have our death star trooper there uh, off to the side of young solo there and then of course we have our jawa here uh, right here guys uh, out of this wave uh, now uh, one, the only character that I'm, that I'm actually missing 
uh, is going to be Lando. I wasn't able to get Lando. Had I shown up at the WonderCon a little bit earlier, I probably could have snagged one because uh, the vendors had plenty uh, of these figures. But by the time I got there, Lando had obviously sold out. He is uh, a very sought after and probably will be one of the hardest figures to find out in the wild. Uh, so guys, uh, you can look forward to uh, reviews on each and one of these figures uh, all this week, uh, going into this weekend. Those are videos that will be coming up on the channel all this week, guys. So for my collectors, do look forward to that. I also have my uh, Voltron uh, that I'm going to do a review on. So you can also look forward to that coming up, guys. Uh, I also am uh, looking to get in a couple of uh, items that I purchased on eBay uh, that I will be doing some reviews on. Uh, so uh, that will be something else that you can look forward to. I am also working on a custom mega playset that I hope to reveal uh, very soon. It's still in progress, but it's still I'm still quite a ways away from uh, completing that project. Uh, but once I have that project together and uh, get all my photos and uh, video together uh, for that project, I will present that uh, on the channel. And uh, I promise you guys it will be a worthwhile video uh, for you to check out, uh, especially for my uh, collector subscribers. Uh, who are into customizing uh, items for their uh, Star Wars figures. Uh, if you really want to check that video out. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, I will catch you on the next reaction of Gotham. Great episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching.